You're Drifting Off with WSLP AM, Big Rapids. The Northwoods Baseball Radio Network presents Sleep Radio. Tonight, from Foghorn Field in Cadillac, Michigan, it's the Cadillac Cars hosting the Big Rapids Timbers. Here's your host, Wally McCarthy. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Foghorn Field. It is a perfect night for a ball game. I'm your host, Wally McCarthy, and tonight from Foghorn Field in Cadillac, it's the Cadillac Cars versus the Big Rapids Timbers. Let's take a gander at tonight's starting lineup for the Big Rapids Timbers. Leading off and playing second base for the Timbers, Jesus Ferguson. Batting second. And playing first base, Keith Castor. Batting third, playing right field this evening is Randy Chang. The cleanup hitter for the Timbers is third baseman Blink Redderson. Shortstop Rio Nunez will bat fifth. Catcher Henny Oldman will bat sixth. Left fielder Brank Filbert bats seventh. Batting eighth, center fielder Dutch Moon. And batting ninth, starting pitcher, Javier Von Neumann. Starting pitcher for Cadillac tonight is the sensational Blinky Malone. He enters tonight's game with a record of 7-1. His battery partner is catcher Giovanni Gasparo. Defensively for Cadillac, Philip Nakamura is at first. Flipper Cortez at second. Shiny Patterson at third. Pinky Slauson is playing shortstop. Gilligan Parker is in left field. Parker is back in the lineup after being out with an unspecified fishing injury. Fritz Ortega is in center field. And Gabriel Palomar rounds out things in right field. There's a subdued crowd on hand this evening enjoying the absolutely perfect weather for a ball game. And umpire Stump Wagner has signaled that it's time to play ball, so we are underway. Jesus Ferguson steps into the box. Ferguson has hit Malone well this season, batting 364. And here's the first pitch from Malone. A called strike that nibbles the outside corner. I believe that was a split finger fastball. Blinky Malone, not known as a fast worker. In fact, he does what almost looks like some very gentle Tai Chi around the mound between pitches. And he is doing that now. And here's a reminder that the first inning is brought to you by Ted's Fishing World. If fishing's in your head, trust Ted. Ted's Fishing World, locations in Kalamazoo and Big Rapids. And Malone has shaken off a couple pitches and now comes set. Ferguson swings and misses at a high fastball. Count is 0-2. The 0-2 pitch, fastball inside. That almost hit Ferguson. Malone comes set, and here's the one-two pitch, and that is popped up, way up, just a can of corn. Where does that phrase come from, can of corn? Palomar is camped under it and makes the catch, one away. And Keith Castor steps in, batting left. The first pitch is way inside, almost looked like a screwball. Got away from him. Fastball right down Main Street for a strike, and it's one and one. There's 
There's a curve ball just a bit low. Boy, that was close. It's two and one. And the two one pitch. Popped up shallow, and Nakamura has it for out number two. Not much wind here tonight, just a gentle breeze blowing out. I think this is what the locals would call sleeping weather. And here's Randy Chang, who has been struggling of late, to say the least. He is 0 for 16 in his last five games. And the first pitch is low for a ball, 1 and 0. Malone comes set. And that one hits the corner for a called strike, 1 and 1. The pitch. Just a touch high, ball 2, 2 and 1. And the 2 1 from Malone is in there for a strike, 2 and 2. The 2 2 pitch. Chang gets a piece of it, but it looks like Palomar will have room, and he makes the catch. And the Timbers go down in order. Another nice inning for Blinky Malone. At the end of the first half, we are scoreless here in Cadillac. Timbers nothing, cars coming up. <laughs> Hello. You know me. This is Ed Uncle Hat. The good folks over there at Big Tom's Shoe Repair and Gelato asked me to drop by and say a few words for them about their business. Big Tom's been in shoe repair since he was knee-eyed to a locust, and his wife, whose name escapes me, has been in the gelato business for several days now. Why don't you stop by over there to Big Tom's Shoe Repair and Gelato and get your shoes repaired? If you're like me, you've put up quite a few miles in on those shoes. Why don't you get a nice cup of pistachio while you're there? And tell Big Tom that uh, Ed Uncle Hat said hi and don't kick him. Thanks for listening. Welcome back to Foghorn Field, everybody. We're about to kick off the bottom of the first inning. Javier Van Neumann is taking the mound for Big Rapids. Van Neumann has struggled in his last few starts, but is, in general, a fine pitcher. He's got a record of 4-4. Four and four. And leadoff man Flipper Cortez steps in. Cortez had four hits in his last game, two singles, a double, and a home run. And here's the first pitch. Outside. That one almost got away from the catcher, Henny Old. It's 1-0. Von Neumann has something of an unusual delivery. Not only does he always pitch out of the stretch, but he has a high, lazy leg kick. It's almost a slow-motion delivery. The pitch. Outside again for a ball, and he falls behind Cortez, 2-0. The 2-0 pitch. Cortez slaps one sharply foul and out of play. 2-1. and one. The pitch from Von Neumann. Hard grounder scooped up by Keith Caster at first base for the out. One down. And that brings up Philip Nakamura. Nakamura having something of a breakout season, batting 370 with 29 runs batted in. Here's Von Neumann with the windup. And Nakamura gets all of that one, sailing leisurely into the picnic area behind the center field wall. That's a long, lazy home run. And the Cadillac cars are up one nothing.
And that brings up third baseman Shiny Patterson. Von Neumann's pitch. Patterson swings and misses at a slow, loping curveball from Von Neumann. 0 and 1. The pitch. That's a fastball inside for a ball, 1 and 1. The 1 1 pitch. Patterson swings at another inside fastball. That looked like the same pitch, same location, and it's 1 and 2. The 1 2 pitch. Patterson follows one off, still 1 and 2. The pitch from Von Neumann. Swing and a miss for strike three, and that is out number two. Here comes the cleanup hitter, Gilligan Parker. The pitch. Swung out and missed. Looked like a fastball that might have been a bit outside, but it's 0-1. The pitch from Von Neumann. A hard hit ball, but right to first baseman Keith Caster. And that's the inning. The Cars score once off the home run by Philip Nakamura. At the end of one, it's the Cars one, the Timbers nothing. We'll be right back with more baseball on the Northwoods Baseball Radio Network. Hey kids, this is Blink Redderson. I'm here at Ted's Fishing World, and I just want to say they've got some great deals for people that like to fish or wish they could fish. They have reels, and they have lures, and they have bait. RLB. They call it. You can get the RLB specials 25% off if you mention my name, Link Redderson. Ted's Fishing World. If fishing's in your head, trust Ted. Ted. Welcome back to Foghorn Field, everybody. Wally McCarthy back with you. It's the top of the second inning, and Blinky Malone will face off against Blink Redderson. Blink and you'll miss him, as they like to say. Here's the pitch. Right down the middle, a fastball for a called strike. And now the 0-1. And Redderson slaps that one right past the shortstop for a base hit. Just a little squibber that squeaked through the infield. So Redderson gets something cooking for the Timbers, and that brings up Rio Nunez. Nobody out. Here's the pitch. Fastball in there for a strike, 0 and 1. Malone keeping an eye on Redderson at first, and he chases him back with a toss over. And here's the 0-1. Just a bit outside for a ball, it's 1-1. One and one. Again, Malone is making sure Redderson isn't going anywhere. The 1-1 one, one pitch. And that is high for a ball, 2-1. Malone takes another peek over to first. And the pitch. And Malone misses badly with a curve ball, and it's 3-1. and one. Malone shakes off a pitch and comes set. And that one is way outside. It's a base on balls, and the Timbers have men on first and second with nobody out. And 
And that's going to bring up catcher Henny Oldman. The first offering from Malone is low for a ball, 1-0. Malone looking like he's having some control problems at the moment. First and second, nobody out. Here's the 1-0. And that's low again for a ball, 2-0. And it looks like pitching coach Preston Bigelow is going to trot out to the mound to see about Malone. And with that, let's take a brief moment for a station ID on your Northwoods Baseball Radio Network. You're drifting off with WSLP AM, Big Rapids. And here's the 2-0 pitch from Malone. And Oldman pops that one up out of play. The count is 2-1. And, the 2-1 pitch. And Oldman smacks that one right up the middle for a base hit. And Redderson is going to be waved home. And he will score easily. The Timbers are on the board. And it's a 1-1 ball game. Men on first and second, still no outs in the inning. The first three Timbers to come to the plate have all reached, and that will bring up left fielder Brank Filbert. Here's the pitch. A swing and a miss at a curveball, 0-1. Malone shakes off a pitch, and now Filbert calls time. Now Malone comes set for the 0-1 pitch. And that's a slider in the dirt that gets away from the catcher Gasparro. And both runners advance 90 feet. Runners at second and third, nobody out. Here's the 1-1. And that is high for a ball, 2-1. And the 2-1 pitch. And Filbert pops that one up in the infield. One out. Runners do not advance. And that will bring up center fielder Dutch Moon. Malone's pitch. And that is high for a ball. It's 1-0. and Malone is struggling out there in this inning. Here's the 1-0 pitch, and that's in there for a strike, 1-1. One one. Dutch Moon has not had what could be called a banner season thus far. He is batting just above 200. Here's the 1-1. One Slapped one. foul, and it's 1-2. The one two. Swung on and missed for a strikeout. That's Malone's first strikeout of the evening. And now there are two outs. And that will bring up the pitcher, Javier Van Newman. And the first pitch is in there for a called strike, 0 and 1. Let's see if Malone can get out of this inning with minimal damage. The 1 Swung on and missed. That was a fastball right down the middle. The 2 pitch. Very high for a ball. He wasn't trying to give him anything to hit there. Here's the one-two. And Von Neumann nearly swings out of his shoes, and that's strike number three. Malone works himself into and out of a pickle, but the Big Timbers Rapids tie the game at one, leaving two men on. And we'll be back with the bottom half of the second in a few moments.
visit the Flagstone State Fair and the Handyson Quintuplets. Three girls and four boys. Bring a canned good donation or four red stamps and get your picture taken with the kids. The Handyson Quintuplets at the Flagstone State Fair. And welcome back to Foghorn Field in Cadillac, Michigan. You're listening to the Northwoods Baseball Radio Network. And we are all tied up as we enter the bottom of the second inning. And coming to the plate is Cadillac shortstop, Pinky Slauson. And the first pitch from Von Neumann. Curveball in the dirt for a ball, 1-0. Here's the 1-0 pitch, and that is inside for a ball, 2-0. Von Neumann off to a shaky start this inning, and here's the 2-0. High again, and just like that, Von Neumann is in trouble, 3-0. The 3-0 pitch. And that's ball four. He walks Slauson on four pitches. Cadillac will have a man on with nobody out. And that will bring up Gabriel Palomar. Von Neumann gives Slauson a long look at first. And here's the pitch. Inside for a ball, 1-0. The 1-0 pitch. And Palomar pops that one up. Foul went out of play. It's 1-1. One one. The 1-1 one one pitch is in there for a strike, a fastball, and it's 1-2. and two. And Von Neumann tosses over to first to keep Slauson on it. Here's the one-two pitch. Palomar smacks that one hard. On the run in center field is Dutch Moon, and he'll have to play that one off the wall. And that's going to be a double for Palomar. Second and third with nobody out in the car's half of the second inning. Here's catcher Giovanni Gasparo. Von Neumann looks in. Here's the pitch. And Gasparo pops that one up to shallow center field. Moon is there and makes the catch. No chance for Slauson to try to score. One out. Runners on second and third for Fritz Ortega. First pitch is a high fastball called a strike, 0-1. The 0-1 pitch, that's a curveball outside for a ball, 1-1. One one. The 1-1. One one. And Ortega smashes that one down the line, past the first baseman, and that will probably score two. Ortega's going to turn on the gas, and he will end up at third base. That's a triple, and Cadillac leads 3-1. One out, the man on third, and that will bring up the pitcher spot, Blinky Malone. Von Newman's pitch. Low for a ball, 1 and 0. The 1 0 pitch. And he swings and misses at a low fastball, it's 1 and 1. The 1-1. One, one. And Malone reaches out and slaps that one into the gap in center field. And that will bring in Ortega to score. It's a 4-1 ball game. 
still only one out, and that brings up the top of the order for Cadillac, Flipper Cortez, who grounded out in his first at bat. The first pitch is outside for a ball, 1-0. and Von Neumann looking a bit peeved out there, and I don't blame him. Here's the 1-0 pitch. Slapped foul by Cortez, 1-1. One one. The 1-1. One one. Cortez swings and misses at an outside fastball. It's 1-2. And the pitch. Cortez lines that one right to right fielder Randy Chang, who makes the catch for the out. And there are two outs. And that'll bring up Philip Nakamura. Nakamura smashed a home run in the first inning. Here's the pitch. Nakamura hits that one hard right at the shortstop, Rio Nunez, who shovels to first for the out. And Von Neumann prevents further damage in the bottom of the second inning. At the end of two, it's Cadillac four, Big Rapids one. We'll be right back with the third inning, here on the Northwoods Baseball Radio Network. I'm Giovanni Gasparo for Mr. King's Party Goods. We're the only one in the Queen City area with the helium. How else you gonna float a balloon without a helium? That's what I say. Go over to Mr. King's Party Goods. Tell him that Giovanni Gasparo sent them. What a lift. Mr. King's Party Goods. back to Foghorn Field, everybody, as we begin the third inning. Cadillac scored three runs in the bottom of the second, and they now lead 4-1. And here's Big Rapids leadoff man, Jesus Ferguson. Blinky Malone is doing his warm-up dance as Ferguson steps in. And here's the pitch. Just outside for a ball, 1 0. And the 1 0 is a curveball outside for a ball, 2 0. And there's a nice fastball in there for a called strike, 2 1. The 2 1 pitch. Slider way outside, and he falls behind 3 and 1. Malone shakes one off and comes set. And Ferguson takes an awkward swing at that one. Full count. The pitch. And Ferguson hits a little smash right up the middle for a base hit. And that will bring up Keith Castor, who popped out in the first. Malone fires over to first to keep Ferguson put. Ferguson has stolen 19 bases so far this season. The first pitch to Castor is in there for a strike 0-1. The 0-1 is very high for a ball, 1-1. One one. Malone taking a long look at first, and he'll toss over there. And here's the pitch, just barely high for a ball, 2-1.
The 2 1 pitch. That is a liner right out to Palomar and right who is under it. And Ferguson cannot advance one out. And in steps Randy Chang. One out, runner on first. The pitch to Chang. Outside for a ball. One and oh. The 1 0 pitch is outside. Ball two. The 2 0 pitch. Another breaking ball that misses low, and it's 3 0. pitch. That's in there for a strike. It's 3 and 1. Malone looking like he's laboring a bit out there. The 3 1. And he misses again, and that's a base on ball. And that will bring up Blink Rudderson. He had a base hit in his last at bat. Runners on first and second, one out. The first pitch to Redderson is outside for a ball, one and oh. And Malone keeping a close eye on Ferguson at second. Here's the pitch. Slapped foul, and it's one and one. The 1 1 pitch. Fouled again, and it's 1 and 2. The 1 2 pitch. And Redderson hits that one deep, playable for Palomar and right. He's under it and makes the catch. Ferguson will advance to third, runners on first and third, two outs as Rio Nunez steps in. Nunez walked in the second inning. The pitch. That is a fastball in there for a strike. It's 0-1. The 1 is low for a ball. Count even at 1-1. One and one. And there's a changeup that misses very low. 2-1. The 2-1. Another ball way outside the zone. That one a fastball, and it's 3-1. The 3-1. He got Redderson to chase one out of the zone. Full count. The 3-2 pitch. And that is called a ball. That looked like a strike to me. Pretty good pitch. But the bases are now loaded with two outs. The Timbers have a good shot to change the complexion of this game right here. And Henny Oldman will step in. He had a base hit his last time up. The pitch. And Oldman pops that one up to right field. Palomar is under it and makes the catch. So Cadillac gets out of a jam at the top of the third. For the Timbers, no runs on one hit and two walks. Headed into the bottom of the third, it remains. The Cars four and the Timbers one. Timbuk 3, AV.
specializing in Betamax and multivisional DVD. The only such service in the Quint City area. Timbuk 3 AV. Welcome back into Foghorn Field, everybody. Wally McCarthy here. It is the bottom of the third inning. Javier Von Neumann takes the mound for Big Rapids. And in steps Shiny Patterson. Patterson struck out his first at bat. And here's the first pitch from Von Neumann. And that's high for a ball, 1-0. The 1-0, low for a ball, it's 2-0. And here's the 2-0 pitch. Patterson smacks it hard to third. Redderson scoops it up long throw to first in time for an out. 5-3 put out, and there's one away. And that will bring up Gilligan Parker. The first pitch is way inside for a ball, 1-0. and And the 1-0 delivery. That's in there for a strike, 1-1. One and one. And now the crew chief is going to call time for a moment. Appears to be some debris near the left field wall, and the crack grounds crew will be dispatched to take care of that directly. All right, here's the 1 1 pitch to Gilligan Parker. And Parker smashes that left to center. Dutch Moon is after it. And he will not get there. And it bounces over the wall for a ground rule double. So Cadillac has a man on second with one away. And that will bring up Pinky Slauson. Slauson walked in his last plate appearance. The pitch. And Slauson crushes that one into the right field corner. Parker is going to score from second. Cadillac now leads 5-1. That's a double for Pinky Slauson. And Gabriel Palomar steps up to the plate. The first pitch is very high. Von Newman's struggling a bit now. It's 1-0. The 1-0 pitch. Outside for ball, 2-0. The 2-0 delivery. Very high again, and it's 3-0. You have to wonder if he'll just put them on at this point. And here's the 3-0 pitch. And that is called a strike. It looked a little inside from the booth, but it's 3-1. The 3-1 pitch. And Palomar smashes that one right into the glove of first baseman Keith Caster. And there are two outs. And it looks like we're going to have a meeting on the mound to see about Von Neumann. Let's take a few moments for a station ID here on your Northwoods Baseball Radio Network. You're drifting off with WSLP AM, Big Rapids. And in steps Giovanni Casparo, who popped out his last time up. And the first pitch is swung on for a strike. It's 0-1. 
man on second, two outs. Cadillac leads 5-1. The 1 pitch. And that one falls in for a hit in deep left field, and Slauson will score from second base. And it's 6-1 Cadillac. That's a base hit for Casparo, and it will bring up Fritz Ortega. Ortega crushed a triple in the second inning. And the first pitch is swung on and missed. It's 0-1. Here's the 0-1 pitch. A changeup right down the middle for a strike. It's 0-2. Von Neumann trying to prevent further damage here. The pitch. And Ortega pops that one up to left field, and Frank Filbert is under it and makes the catch for the third out. At the end of three innings, it's the Cadillac car six. Big Rapids Timbers won. We'll be right back with more baseball here on the Northwoods Baseball Radio Network. Hello. <laughs> you know me. This is Ed Uncle Hat. My good friends at uh, Ed Orn's House of Sleep asked me to drop by and talk to you a minute about their mattresses and other sleep-related items, beds, headboards, nightcaps, and essential oils. They just added the essential oils last week. Uh, Ed Orn's wife, uh, Beatrice, got over there and and uh, she's really into the essential oil. She makes her own. They have a few little tubs out back. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. Ed Orn's house is sleep. You don't need to count your sheep if you go to Ed Orn's house is sleep. Welcome back with us to Cadillac Field and the Northwoods Baseball Radio Network. Wally McCarthy reporting. We are in the top of the fourth inning. Cadillac leads Big Rapids 6-1. And Henny Oldman is at bat. Blinky Malone is on the mound, and here's the first pitch. That is an outside curveball that is called a strike, 0-1. I think Malone got a break on that call. Here's the 0-1. High for a ball, 1-1. One one. And Malone comes set for the 1-1. One one. And Oldman slaps that one foul and out of play. It's 1-2. and two. The 1-2 pitch. Outside for a ball, two and two. The pitch. And Oldman nearly swings out of his shoes, and that is a strikeout. One away here in the top of the fourth. And that will bring up Frank Filbert. That was the fourth strikeout of the game for Malone, who has held the Timbers to a single run so far. And here's the first pitch to Filbert. And he hits a little bouncer towards third, scooped up by Patterson, who will toss across to Nakamura. And that's out number two. Two quick outs for blinking Malone. And Dutch Moon steps in. He struck out his last time up.
And there's a fastball in there for a called strike. It's 0-1. The 0-1. Curveball outside, 1-1. One one. The 1-1 one one pitch. Moon smashes that one. Foul went out of play. It's 1-2. And Malone delivers another curveball way outside this time. Two and two. The 2-2 two -two pitch. Inside fastball, and that one is called a strike, and Malone works quickly through another inning. After three and a half, it's Cadillac six, Big Rapids one. We'll be right back. Cadillac. I'm Wally McCarthy on the Northwoods Baseball Radio Network. And we head to the bottom half of the fourth inning here in Cadillac, and Blinky Malone will step in to bat for himself. Here's the first pitch from Von Neumann. That's in there for a cold strike, 0-1. The 0 1 pitch to Malone. That one stroked foul down the first baseline. It's 0 and 2. The 0 2 pitch. A curveball off the plate for a ball. It's 1 and 2. And Von Neumann serves up another curveball outside, 2-2. Two and two. Here's the pitch. And that one smashed foul down the third baseline. Still 2-2. Two two. We'll do it again. Fouls another one off, still two and two. Malone is really making Von Neumann work out there. And the pitch. Low for a ball, full count. Payoff pitch. And that one is low. Von Neumann gives off a leadoff walk to the pitcher, Blinky Malone. And that will bring up Flipper Cortez, who is hitless so far in this game. First pitch to Cortez is a fastball in there for a called strike, 0 and 1. Von Neumann doesn't need to worry about Malone on first as he is not known for speed. The 0 1 pitch. 
And Cortez dribbles one up the middle. Ferguson tags Malone, but the throw to first is not in time for a double play. And Cortez is safe at first. One away, and that will bring up Philip Nakamura. Nakamura belted a long home run in the first inning. The pitch. And Nakamura swings and misses at a fastball. A little tardy on that heater. Here's the 0-1 pitch. Another fastball. This one low for a ball. It's 1-1. One one. The 1-1 one pitch. That's hit up the middle, scooped up by Nunez, and over to Castor for a double play. And that's the end of the inning. And after giving up a leadoff walk to the opposing pitcher, Von Neumann gets out of it. It remains Cadillac 6 and Big Rapids 1. We'll be back for the fifth inning in a moment of Northwoods Baseball Radio Network. Hey, kids. This is Blake. Redderson. I'm here at Ted's Fishing World, and I just want to say they've got some great deals for people that like to fish or wish they could fish. They have reels, and they have lures, and they have bait. RLB, they call it. You can get the RLB specials 25% off if you mention my name. Link Redderson. Ted's Fishing World. If fishing's in your head, trust Ted. Ted. Foghorn Field and Cadillac as we get ready to begin the fifth inning. Cadillac leads Big Rapids 6-1. And Blinky Malone takes the mound for the fifth, and that will bring up his counterpoint, the pitcher Von Neumann. And the first pitch to Von Neumann bounces in the dirt in front of the plate for a ball. Looks like a fastball that got away from him. 1-0. and The 1-0. Von Neumann hits that one, dribbling right back to Malone, who will toss over to first for out number one. I want to give a special welcome to the kids visiting us tonight at the ball game from Ranch Rudolph. We welcome you, and we appreciate all the good work they do up there at Ranch Rudolph. RanchRudolph.com And here's the first pitch to Ferguson. And that's low for a ball, 1-0. The 1-0. Fastball in there for a strike, 1-1. the pitch. And that's very low for a ball, 2-1. and one. You have to wonder if Malone is starting to get a little gassed out there. And here's the 2-1. Just paints the corner for a strike. It's 2-2. Two and two. Malone comes set and the pitch. Ferguson takes a wild wave at that one for a called strike. That's a strikeout for the second out of the inning.
And that will bring up Keith Castor, who is hitless so far tonight. Let's see if he can get something cooking for Big Rapids. And the first pitch is in there for a strike. It's 0-1. And the 0-1 pitch. And Caster smacks that one into left field for a base hit. Big Rapids have a man on with two outs. And that will bring up Randy Chang. Chang walked in his last appearance. And here's the pitch. Blazing fastball just inside for a ball, and it's 1-0. And Blinky Malone will take a quick toss over to first base. And here's the 1-0. A sinker in the dirt for a ball, it's 2-0. Chief is now calling time. There appears to be a goat in center field. We will pause a moment while the grounds crew gets that situation under control. Let's take 10 seconds for a station identification here on the Northwoods Baseball Radio Network. You're drifting off with WSLP AM. Big Rapids. All right. The goat appears to be subdued and is being carried off the field now, and we will resume play. Here's the 2-0 pitch. That's a ball. Looks like he was taking all the way there. 3-0. Randy Chang doesn't often chase a ball out of the zone, so Malone will want to hit the zone with this pitch. And here's the pitch. And that's ball four, another slider in the dirt. Big Rapids have a couple aboard with two outs to bring up Blink Redderson. And the first pitch to Rutterson is a curveball inside for a ball 1 and 0. Malone falling behind in the count this inning. And here's the 1 and Inside again for a ball, it's 2 and 0. The 2 0 pitch. Right down the middle for a strike, two and one. Looked like Redison was taking all the way on that. The two one. If yeah, that almost hit him, it's inside. It's three and one. Here's the three one pitch. And that just kisses the corner for a called strike, and it's a full count. The payoff pitch just outside, and Malone has walked the bases full. Two outs, bases loaded. And that will bring Rio Nunez to the plate. pitch. And that one bounces in the dirt and gets away from the catcher Gasparo. 
but it's right off the backstop so no runners can advance. That was a lucky break for Malo. Here's the 1 up. Way outside for a ball, 2 and 0. Malone really looking like he's losing control out there. And the 2 0 pitch. Outside again, almost got away from Gasparo, who does a good job hanging on to that one, and it's 3 0. The 3-0 pitch in there for a called strike. Nunez taking all the way on that one, three and one. The 3-1 pitch, a high fastball called a strike, three and two, full count. And here's the payoff pitch. And that is hit sharply foul, and we'll do it again, still full count. The pitch. Outside, just outside, for a ball four, and that will walk in a run. And Big Rapids chips away, and it's six to two. Bases still loaded. One run in. And that'll bring up Henny Old. Malone's pitch. Outside for a ball, 1-0, and and it looks like we're going to have a meeting of the minds on the mound as pitching coach Preston Bigelow trots out to see about Malone. And a reminder that you can send us mail on the Googler machine. Just go ahead and type in northwoodsbaseball at gmail.com. I know some of you like to use computers, and we love to hear from you. Okay, it looks like they are going to stick with Malone. He is having some trouble out there. And here's the 1 0 pitch. In there for a strike, the count even at 1 and 1. The 1 1. And Oldman takes a monster swing at that one and hits it foul out of play, 1 and 2. Let's see if Malone can work himself out of a jam here. The one two pitch. In the dirt for a ball, it's two and two. The two two pitch fouled off out of play, still two and two. Oldman really making Malone work out there. It's two and two, and we'll do it again. And Oldman swings and misses for a strikeout, and Malone wriggles out of a jam with the bases loaded. So Big Rapids settle for a single run. We'll be back with the bottom half of the fifth inning. It's Cadillac 6, Big Rapids 2, on the Northwoods Baseball Radio Network. This is the Reverend Ira Gay for the Buckstop Inn Community Theater. I hope you'll join me for their production of Our Town. The Buckstop Inn Community Theater. Making things happen.
Welcome back to Foghorn Field. We're headed to the bottom of the fifth. Cadillac leads Big Rapids 6-2. to two. Javier Von Neumann still on the mound for Big Rapids, and he'll face Shiny Patterson, who is hitless so far tonight. And here's the first pitch. Curveball in there for a called strike. 0-1. And Von Neumann with the 0-1 pitch. Slapped foul and out of play. Strike two. The 0-2 pitch. And Patterson takes something of a wild swing at that curveball in the dirt. Not even close. And that's a strikeout for the first out on three pitches from Von Neumann. And that will bring up Gilligan Parker. Parker smacked a double in the bottom of the third. Here's the pitch. Fastball right down the middle for a called strike, 0 and 1. And the 0 1 is outside for a ball, it's 1 and 1. The 1 1 pitch. And Parker hits a hard line drive down the first baseline, and Keith Caster scoops it up and steps on the bag for the second out. A nice play by Caster. He had to hustle for that one, but he made it look easy. And that will bring up Pinky Slauson. The bottom of the fifth, two outs, bases empty. Slauson having a good night with a base on balls and a double. And here's the pitch from Von Neumann. An outside curveball swung on and missed by Slauson. Something of a lazy, non-committal swing by Slauson. We are not used to seeing that from him. Here's the 0-1 pitch. Outside for a ball. That looked like the same pitch, but Slauson did not offer it at this time. It's 1-1. One one. And Slauson looking into the dugout now to see how manager Bud Powell wants to approach this spot. And here's the 1-1 pitch. And Slauson lays down a bunt, rolling perfectly inside the third baseline. That is a base hit. It was just a textbook bunt, and Slauson is aboard for the third time this evening. And it'll bring up Gabriel Palomar with two outs and a man on. Von Neumann looking a little bit agitated with the perfection of that punt. It was textbook. And he'll toss over to first to see about Slauson. And here's the pitch to Palomar. Right down the middle for a called strike, 0-1. And Von Neumann will toss over to first again. And here's the 0-1 pitch. That one is low for a ball, and Slauson is headed for second. Henny Oldman will throw to second in time. And Slauson is caught stealing for the third out. So after five innings, it remains Cadillac 6, Big Rapids 2. We'll be back with six innings in a moment on the Northwoods Baseball Radio Network. WSLP Community Calendar. 
The Royal Moose Lodge, number 63, in Lake City, is holding a Freshing Bee and Antiques show this Sunday afternoon. Admission is free with a canned good, a benefit for the Greater Lake City Food Bank. The Reed City VFW invites you to their weekly Arts and Science Saturday, this week at 2 p.m. A unique banjo demonstration presented by Wilbur Furlong, Reed City's official historian. And the Big Rapids High School Marching Band Fundraiser, Spaghetti Feed and Raffle, Saturday at 6 p.m. at the Pizza Dome. Tickets are $10. If you'd like your event shared on the WSLP community calendar, drop us a line at northwoodsbaseball at gmail.com. That's northwoodsbaseball at gmail.com. And welcome back to Foghorn Field, everybody. We are heading into the top of the sixth inning. Cadillac leads Big Rapids 6-2. Blinky Malone still on the mound for Cadillac somehow. And stepping up to the plate for Big Rapids is left fielder Brank Filbert. He's hitless so far in this contest. And the first pitch from Malone. Swung on and missed for a strike, it's 0-1. Gilbert did not look at all comfortable with that swing. Here's the 0-1 pitch. Smacked foul and out of play, it's 0-2. the 0-2. Hits softly right into the shift. Flipper Cortez picks it up and tosses to first for the first out. Score that one 6-3. And that brings up Dutch Moon. Moon has struck out in both of his at-bats this evening. The pitch to Moon. In there for a called strike. It's 0-1. Moon struggling of late. He is hitless in his last 12 at bats. The pitch. High and outside for a ball. It's one and one. The one one pitch. In there for a strike. It's one and two. The one-two pitch. In there for a called strike, and Dutch Moon has struck out again. There are two outs in the inning. And that's going to bring up Javier von Neumann, who will bat for himself. The pitch to von Neumann. In there for a strike, it's 0-1. The 0 1 pitch. Just outside for a ball. It's 1 and 1. The 1 1. Fouled off and out of play for strike two. Here's the 1 2 pitch. And Von Neumann breaks his bat. That one falls just outside the first baseline. Still one and two. The pitch. Outside for a ball. It's two and two. The 
2-2 pitch. And Von Neumann pops that one into right field. Palomar is under it and makes the catch for out number three. So after five and a half, it remains Cadillac six, Big Rapids two. We'll be right back on the Northwoods Baseball Radio Network. She makes her own. They have a few little tubs out back. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. Ed Orn's house is asleep. You don't need to count your sheep if you go to Ed Orn's house and sleep. And welcome back to Foghorn Field, everybody. It's a four-run game as we head to the bottom of the sixth inning. Cadillac leads 6-2, and Javier Von Neumann is on the mound facing Gabriel Palomar. Palomar had a double and scored a run in the second inning. Here's the pitch. And Palomar lays down a bunt, and he is going to be safe at first. That's the second bunt single of the game for Cadillac. And that will bring up Giovanni Gasparro, who is hitless so far this evening. The pitch low for a ball. It's 1-0. The 1-0 pitch. Swung on and missed. Strike one. It's 1-1. One one. The pitch. And that's lined into left field way into the corner. Nobody going to get there. Gasparro is going to go for two. We'll have a play at the plate, and Gasparro slides in safely. He has himself a double, the bottom of the Cadillac six. Runners at second and third, and that's going to bring up Fritz Ortega. Ortega had a triple in the second inning and ended up scoring a run. Here's the pitch. Way inside for a ball, and Ortega has to bail out of there. The 1-0 pitch, and Ortega pops that one up way, way up, and Ferguson is under it at second base, and he makes the catch, one away. And it looks like Eddie Kincaid is going to pinch hit for Blinky Malone in this spot. Kincaid steps in, and they are going to intentionally walk him, so now Cadillac has loaded the bases, one away and will bring up leadoff man Flipper Cortez.
And the first pitch to Cortez is called a strike, 0-1. The 0 1 pitch. A loping curveball way outside for a ball. It's 1 and 1. The 1 1. And he pops that one up way up. Keith Caster is under it, and he will make the catch for the second out. Base is still loaded, two outs now, and that will bring up Philip Nakamura. He had a long home run in the first inning. And the pitch. First pitch is a fastball, low for a ball, it's 1-0. The 1-0. And that's a hard liner, but it's right to Keith Caster, who makes the grab for the out. And Javier Van Newman gets out of a bases-loaded jam. We'll be back with the seventh inning, here on the Northwoods Baseball Radio Network. McCarthy here. After a long day at the field, I relish any chance I can get to visit the Ivanhoe Supper Club in Arcadia. Enjoy a porterhouse steak, relax in the fresh Lake Michigan breezes, and maybe sample a dry martini or two. Become an Ivanhoe Club member to receive reward points. Always free valet parking, and always a luxurious experience. The Ivanhoe Supper Club. Mention my name, Wally McCarthy, and receive 10% off your next meal. Welcome back on the Northwoods Baseball Radio Network. I'm Wally McCarthy. We are in the top of the seventh inning. Cadillac leads 6-2. And leading off for Big Rapids is Javier Von Neumann. So it appears that he is going to stay in this game to pitch the bottom of the seventh inning. There's a new pitcher on the mound for Cadillac, and that is Brock Niedermeyer. And here's the pitch to Von Neumann. And Von Neumann blasts that one deep, but Gilligan Parker is under it, and he will make the catch for the first out, one away. And that will bring us back to the top of the Big Rapids order, and Jesus Ferguson will step into the box. Niedermeyer's pitch. A low fastball called a strike, 0 and 1. The 0 1 pitch. That's popped up, foul and out of play, it's 0 and 2. And here's the 0-2 pitch. Ferguson bounces that one right over Niedermeyer's head. Slauson has it and tosses to first in time for the out. Just like that, there are two outs.
And that will bring up Keith Caster. The pitch. Caster slaps the first pitch foul. It's 0-1. Niedermeyer doing a good job in relief getting ahead of these hitters. And he comes set for the 0-1. And Caster takes an awkward whiff at that one for a strike. It's 0-2. The pitch. And that's low for a ball. 1-2. Here's the one-two pitch. Caster takes another very awkward whack at that one for a strikeout. And Niedermeyer has a one-two-three inning in relief. And we'll be right back with the bottom of the seventh in a moment. It remains Cadillac 6, Big Rapids 2. On the Northwoods Baseball Radio Network. Hey kids, this is Blink Redderson. I'm here at Ted's Fishing World, and I just want to say they've got some great deals for people that like to fish or wish they could fish. They have reels, and they have lures, and they have bait. RLB. They call it. You can get the RLB specials 25% off if you mention my name, Blink Redderson. Ted's Fishing World. If fishing's in your head, trust Ted. Ted. And welcome back to Foghorn Field, everybody. Wally McCarthy here. We are heading to the bottom of the seventh inning. And Hopier Von Neumann takes the mound, and he'll face Shiny Patterson. Patterson is hitless in this game with two strikeouts. And here's the pitch. Patterson swings and misses 0-1. Cadillac has led the entire game, and it is still 6-2 Cadillac. The 0-1 pitch, and that's low for a ball. It's 1-1. The 1-1 pitch. Swung on and missed. It's one and two. Von Newman seeing if he can strike Patterson out for a third time in this game. And here's the one two pitch. Outside for a ball. It's two and two. And the two two pitch. Outside again for a ball, full count. And here's the payoff pitch. Outside, and he walks the leadoff man, Patterson. So, no outs, one on, and that will bring up Gilligan Parker. The pitch to Parker. In there for a strike. It's 0-1. The 0-1 pitch. 
line foul. Brent Filbert is chasing that one, but he will run out of room, and it's out of play. Count 0-2. And Von Neumann tosses over to first to see about Patterson. Here's the 0-2 to Parker. Swing and a miss, strike three, and that's the first out. One out, one on for Pinky Slauson. The pitch. In there for a called strike, it's 0-1. Via one. Slapped foul and out of play, 0 and 2. VO2 pitch. And that's a broken bat dribbler, Keith Caster, hustling after it and steps on the bag for the second out. Patterson will advance to second. And that will bring up Gabriel Palomar. Palomar has two hits this evening. The first pitch. Low for a ball, 1 and 0. The 1 0. High for a ball, it's 2 and 0. The 2 0 pitch. Inside, that almost hit him, and Von Neumann falls behind 3 and 0. You have to wonder if he's pitching around him in this spot. The 3 0 pitch outside for a ball, and he walks him. That's the second walk of the inning for Von Neumann. Runners on first and second for Cadillac, looking to add to their lead. And with that, it looks like Big Rapids manager Earl Gulcher is heading to the mound, and that's going to be it for Von Neumann. So we'll be right back with a new pitcher. We're in the bottom of the seventh. Cadillac leads 6-2. You're drifting off with WSLP AM, Big Rapids. And welcome back to Foghorn Field. Belden Hinojosa is the new Timbers pitcher, and he'll face Giovanni Gasparo with runners at first and second, two away. The pitch. A breaking ball outside for a ball. It's 1-0. The 1-0 pitch. Way inside. That almost hit him. It's 2-0. The 2-0 pitch in there for a called strike. 2-1. The 2-1 pitch. Swung on and missed. That's a strike, two and two. And the pitch. Gasparo slices that one out of play. Still two and two. And we'll do it again. Here's the pitch. And that is in there for a called strike to end the inning. 
Valdonino Hoso does a fine job getting out of that jam, and at the end of seven innings, it's Cadillac six, Big Rapids two. We'll be right back with the eighth inning here on the Northwoods Baseball Radio Network. Visit the Flagstone State Fair and the Handyson Quintuplets. Three girls and four boys. Bring a canned good donation or four red stamps and get your picture taken with the kids. The Handyson Quintuplets at the Flagstone State Fair. Welcome back in for the bottom of the eighth inning here at Foghorn Field. Cadillac leads 6-2. And Belden Hinojosa takes the mound to face Fritz Ortega. The first pitch. In there for a called strike, it's 0-1. The 1 pitch. Slapped foul and out of play. It's 0-2. The 2 pitch. And Ortega takes a wild swing at an outside pitch. And Inojosa strikes him out on three pitches. One away. And that's going to bring up a pinch hitter, and that is going to be Nigel Hickson. The first pitch to Hickson. Curveball skied out of play. It's 0-1. The 0-1. Very high for a ball. It's one and one. And Hickson fouls the one one up and out of play. It's one and two. The one two. Another long foul ball. Still one and two. the pitch. And Hickson swings and misses for a strikeout. Two strikeouts in a row for Inohosa. And that will bring up leadoff man Flipper Cortez with two outs. The pitch to Cortez. Swung on and missed. 0 and 1. The 0 1 pitch. Smashed foul. 0 and 2. The 0 2 pitch. Outside for a ball. It's 1 and 2. One-two pitch hit softly to the right side of the infield. Inojosa has it and tosses to first for the third out. So at the end of eight, it's Cadillac six, Big Rapids two. 
We'll be right back with the top of the ninth inning here on the Northwoods Baseball Radio Network. I'm Giovanni Gasparo for Mr. King's Party Goods. We're the only one in the Quint City area with a helium. How else you want to float a balloon without a helium? That's what I say. Go over to Mr. King's Party Goods. Tell them that Giovanni Gasparo sent them. What a lift. Mr. King's Party Goods. Welcome back to Foghorn Field. We are in the top of the ninth inning. And although this is not a save situation, Cadillac is going with their closer, Burgess Hepburn. Hepburn is going to try to put this one to bed. And he will face Brank Filbert, who moldies up to the plate. Interesting gate. Here's the pitch from Hepburn. In there for a called strike, it's 0-1. The 0-1 pitch, called strike. That one looked a little bit low from up here. It's 0-2. The 0-2. Just outside for a ball, it's 1-2. The 1-2 pitch. That's a broken bat liner towards third. Tough play for Shiny Patterson. And his throw to first pulls Caster off the bag, and that's a single for Filbert. And that will bring up Dutch Moon, who's not having a great night so far. He has struck out three times in this game. smashed to center field way back and Dutch Moon has a two run homer and Big Rapids has something going here it's now a 6-4 ball game with no outs top of the ninth inning hitter, Royce Babcock. One more time. And we're going to have a pinch hitter, and it's Royce Babcock. The pitch. Outside for ball one and up. The one up. Low for a ball, it's two and a two o pitch. 
popped up and Flipper Cortez is under it. And he will make the grab for the first out. And that brings up Jesus Ferguson. Warren Justin Ross at WSLP AM. Big Rapids. And here's the pitch. In there for a strike. Oh, and one. Thank you. 